Hi there. Today I wanted to test something. I have many strawberries everywhere growing that need a new place where they can go to. Like those ones here. And here, this one used to be on my balcony in this pot. The pot is quite small and actually it's a strawberry that is always blooming during the whole summer until autumn but here because the pot is so small the strawberries are very small normally they are really delicious and big but here it's too small the pot is too small and the strawberries are small as well now i found this here a grow bag for strawberries so it's supposed to look like this here you can see the photo and now I'm gonna fill it up 40 liters supposed to fit in there and in between the layers I will put some comfrey leaves I think that will help them to bloom and fruit and then I show you how it's gonna look like so the strawberry plant goes right on the top I think and the other ones that bloom pink, they will go on the sides. I hope it will look nice. i keep you updated. When I fill up a container normally, I put some leaves and twigs from my hedge down into the ground so that everything is not right on the, on the bottom and the little twigs they will keep some humidity and give it back to the plants when it's very dry so i think i'll do this here as well here's the hedge that has to be cut so it will be fine when i cut some of those branches and put it right into the grow bag so the hedge gets trimmed a little bit I have something to put in here and then I can save a little bit on compost or soil so this is normally quite nice to do that the leaves and twigs from the hedge and some comfrey leaves that I cut a little bit smaller that I these big ones here, they are really big. I made them quite small. And now the soil can come in. Oops, I hope I can hold the camera and put this at the same time. Just fill it up with normal soil that you get from the market or from the garden center or supermarket, whatever you have. If you have good soil in your garden, you can use that one as well. But we here have pure sand that will not be very well or very good for the plants. I think the difficult thing will be to get the plants into this small hole here. Yes. But I found now another plant that a runner from a strawberry that was in the ground with hardly any roots so I try with this one so this is the runner and now I try to get it in check it out I think I go from inside to the outside no it's better to go from here in here oh that looks not bad so I just have to fill it up with more soil so that it looks better. So now I just put more soil in from that side here. You can fill it up with soil and then press it down a little bit that the roots connect with the soil and later I will water, give it water so that there are no air pockets in there. But I think more soil will be fine. Oh, this one looks quite well. Now let's try with the ones with bigger roots. It's so hot, I always have to find some shade for the camera. 
because our, otherwise it will overheat. We had a heat wave, today it cooled down a little bit to 30 degrees, but yesterday we had 40 degrees. That's not so usual here. I think you in the UK who had this heat wave as well. Now we have one or two days where it's not that hot, but then on Monday and Tuesday it's gonna be hot again. So I have to get the strawberry bag filled up that it can start to accommodate in the bag and then when it's so hot I probably have to take that black bag somewhere in the shade that it doesn't overheat. Also they say on the description that it will not overheat, it will be very fine, it will not get too wet when you water it and it will not get overheat but we'll try and see. I found some more pots that desperately needed to be transplanted. So, down there, and now I can continue. As you can see here, two runners that went into this, into this pot and they have no chance to set fruit because the pots are too small. They wanted to, but they didn't. There were no strawberries on this one and when I put them into the grow bag I hope they'll have a chance to come. So the first pockets are filled with strawberry plants. The first layer and now the next layer comes. But I think I will put some more comfrey in there. Here is even a small, uh, small strawberry. I hope it will grow there as well. So that's how it looks from the inside. I just take the plant find that hole here, you see, and then I take the plant very thoroughly and pull it so that it comes out and then I fill this up here with soil again. Here, you see, just lift it up a little bit and put some more soil and a little bit more, a little bit more has to come as well. So when it's enough then you press it that the roots can easily grow again because we took it out of the pots. Remember? Out of the pot where the roots came down already. Oh, we're growing out of the pot. And sometimes you might have the feeling that uh, here those pockets are not properly filled up and it's difficult to do this with such a shovel. Just take your hands, at least I did it with my hands, and fill it up like that. It's also a possibility. And then you're sure that the soil goes everywhere. Now all pockets are filled up with strawberry plants, as you can see here. And there's a little space here on top, but I hope it will be enough for this plant here. So now this strawberry has to go in here. I take it out. Whoops! It's not so as many roots as I expected, but I'm sure with this they will come even better. So I have to fill up everything with soil and then I hope we will have a nice harvest again. So this plant is in now as well. And uh, it is called Ostara, the plant on top. 
the strawberry on top is called Ostara. I just put the label in here so that I can remember myself what's the name of the plant because it's a very nice one. The fruit is the strawberries are very big, they get really big, juicy and super sweet. Yeah, and another thing you have to remember tomatoes when you transplant them put them into another pot or into the soil you can put it very deep down in the ground and it will build new roots with the strawberry it's better if you put it right on top so that the roots are not too deep down in the soil um, I've heard that that is much better for them and that's what I did down with the others as well I was pulling them a little bit out very thoroughly of course so that they are not too deep in the in the soil and that the roots are just level with the soil i hope that is understandable <laughs> so the pot where the big strawberry was in will be cleaned and then i will take it back home to the balcony and there are many pot uh, many plants in small pots that will be happy to get that pot now and I didn't have enough space for all the strawberries that I wanted to transplant but as you see on the chair on the pink chair there is still one more grow bag that I can fill up and I hope that sooner or later the strawberries will grow like on this photo here but now I have to find the right place for that plant and of course I have to give it quite a bit of water so that's what I still have to do so I didn't find the right place for it yet but I thought I put it here for the moment and until it really settles down and one thing you have to really watch out if you want to move such a bag such a grow bag do it before you water it because it's really heavy and here is just the place where I want it for the moment you can see the Sun is really burning and I'm sitting here with my head without a head it's almost impossible to stand the heat I hope you're all fine and that you have a nice weekend not too cold in Australia and not too hot in other parts of the world. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice time. Bye bye.